Hello, welcome to Farm with Fred. Subscribe to our YouTube channel so that we can continue learning together. And today we want to, to discuss or to touch on capsicum training or capsicum uh, pruning. Uh, talking of capsicum pruning, uh, in different stages, capsicum needs to be pruned or needs to be trained. One, because this plant grows very bushy it's a, a bushy types of uh, a plant and now we want to ship it to uh, and give it few stems that will produce quality and good fruits so how do you do that how do you uh, do it uh one when the crop is young you have to select which stem are you going to leave and which stem are you going to uh, to remove in our case our crop is already grown and today uh, we will look at pruning at this stage or pruning at this level. We've already uh, started harvesting, as you can see, the fruit. Uh, we've already produced uh, enough fruits. When the plant was young, we retained four stems per, per plant. As you can see, it's advisable to leave uh, four, three stems. Other farmers leave uh, five stems. But now, after, uh, after we have harvested for a while, we also want to continue training this, uh, this crop or continue maintaining this crop in order now to, have, uh, to continue have, uh, having a quality uh, production or good uh, fruits. Because when it becomes so bushy, these suckers or uh, extra stems tend to use all the nutrients that may be used in producing healthy and good food so one when pruning or when removing uh, 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 extra stems there are some things we consider we remove a, a, a stem that is not producing as you can see in our case here look at this we have two stems here they have no flowers they have no fruit so we remove them from this point another thing we remove uh, other than stems we also remove leaves we remove leaves that are diseased or that are attacked by pests. So you have to be very keen at uh, which le leaves are, uh, you're, remo you're removing. Or less, you can remove leaves that are below fruiting, uh, uh, fruiting level. Like you can see, we've already removed all the leaves that, 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 were, uh, that are below uh, our fruits. So if this, by tomorrow you will have harvested this fruit, what we'll do, all the leaves that are below uh, these uh, other fruits will be also removed. So uh, you have to consider all those things. The diseased, the, the stems that are not producing, or the pests uh, that are attacked, or unwanted stems. Sometimes because of the number, like I told you, we need three, four, or five uh, 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 stems per, per plant. You can decide to remove a certain stem because it's not producing or it's unwanted uh, 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 a stem and as you remove these stems you have to continue with now the process of supporting making sure uh, you, are, you, are, you, are, you are twining or you are supporting with, with the loops as you can see we've already installed the, the loops now what is remaining is just to continue supporting the crop and you do it gently in order to make sure you don't injure the young stem these stems are so delicate to an extent that if you force them, you will end up injuring the stem. So, if possible, make sure it's the, the string that is moving. Yes, that's how twining uh, happens. We come to this one. We move them into one direction. As you can see, you move them that way. So those are the, now the simple steps or the managerial uh, 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 part of now training the crop in order now to make sure there is continuity of production and there is good uh, production. So I'll show you which type of stems should be removed. Like here, in this plant, this one is, not pro uh, is producing nothing, so we remove that. We also have uh, this one, you see this one has nothing, no flower, no fruit, so we remove it from that section. This one 
has no fruit, uh, no flower, so we remove it. So at the end of it, we are left with three stems, which is a, a good number. So you have to, to consider that in order now to make sure uh, you have a healthy and good crop. Another application when removing the, 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 the leaves or when pruning, make sure uh, you don't drop the leaves or the, the suckers that you remove from the capsi capsicum uh, on, the, on, the, on the floor. Because one, if they are diseased, uh, a, a disease like podally mildew or downy mildew, you'll, the spores will drop on the floor and later they will attack the remaining, uh, the remaining, the remaining plants. Or the pest will fall on the floor, and after you, after that, they they will they will attack the, the the plant. So what you do during pruning, or when you're removing these things, make sure you have a bucket or you have a a a, 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 a basket that after removing you put that that uh, the the debris in the basket. When it's full, you remove it outside the greenhouse. Those are the precautions that you are supposed to be taking care of or you are supposed to be looking at during the process of pruning or training the crop. Until next time, subscribe to my YouTube channel so that we can continue learning together. Bye.